the next run of generation process we call the subsurface storm flow okay. they found that some area they, the area is high probability but there's no surface runoff runoff come from the subsurface storm flow okay, or interfall it's occur in the forest area where the high high slope and duplex soil duplex soil means the the high permeable soil is underlined by the the sandy clay <coughs> with the low permeability soil so we expect that the water can infiltrate to the soil and cannot go further they move they move uh, along uh, under the surface so we call that subsurface runoff and to the to the uh, channel okay. so we can uh, develop equation simple equation like this subsurface storm flow or subsurface runoff is a function of the storage okay qss is the proportion to the water storage function of S. The next topic is about the relationship between infiltration, soil moisture and vegetation growth. Okay. <clears throat> when the this part when the rain is coming and and it's finish, uh, stop. So we expect that the moisture content in this soil can be like hundred percent is saturation soil okay but once the rain stop the water will flow out from this okay the, the soil can't hold the water until the water de decreased to, to some level for example it's about 40 percent After arrive forty percent is no there's no water drain from the the this area anymore. Okay. But once if the the tree uh can use this water for growth for growth for vegetation growth and the the soil moisture come to less than ten percent. So it means this 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 situation the the tree is, is uh, going to dry because of they can't uh, draw water from the soil. At this point, we call the uh, wilting point. Uh, wilting point. So, for ex connect to the, this uh, figure for fuel capacity. Fuel stacks mean is mean that the soil water soil water capacity that can uh the soil can hold the water by uh by themselves. A, and for the wedding point is mean the point that the less than this point the the vegetation can uh have uh be, be die. Okay. So compared to this different soil, we expect that the Fuel capacity and welding point is, is a different between depend on the soil texture. Okay. This this one <coughs> give you give the idea how can we educate uh, uh educate water for uh for vegetation. So we have to for example if the sand the, the our land is a uh, sand, so we have to uh for example, if we take the average, this one is usually about, uh, about nine percent. Let's say nine. Nine percent on the average. Okay, if you pass it, and this one is been four percent. Okay. So this means we have to keep those water content in the sand between four and nine percent, because if the 
if the soil moisture greater than nine percent, the water can go out by gravity, and we lost this amount of water. But if the soil water content is less than four percent, it means the tree, the vegetation, can't uh, take the water from the soil. That is a problem. It's going to die. That is the waiting point. Okay, that is that is the meaning of this. Uh, uh, to manage the water between the fuel capacity and waiting point. And this shows the relationship between uh, soil moisture potential. It's like the as pressure, vacuum pressure, okay, vacuum pressure, and this is the soil moisture content. This shows that less soil moisture content, it means the high, the uh, suck, uh, high pressure. Okay, it just mean at this point, at the waiting point, the temp, uh, the soil water content is less than ten percent. The tree have to use, have to put a lot of effort about negative one thousand five hundred kilo pascal to withdraw to suck the water from the soil. Okay. And this shows the relationship between the soil moisture content and uh, between fuel capacity and burning point coefficient. You see that for the sand is is quite narrow, but for the the silver loam, clay loam and clay is a like a, a big gap between the fuel capacity and waiting point.